Hey guys, welcome back to more stories untold. This time we're doing the episode two, the lab conduct. Uh, check it out and see what it's all about. Oh. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Okay. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so... Yes, some. ...always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Uh-oh. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Sure, okay. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Bring what back? Okay. This is gonna go well. Alright, internal analysis. The subject, J1986 mem is enclosed in a solid outer layer layers the x-ray of the artifact to determine internal structure oh okay uh can i how do i go to the other screen oh uh e. oh m oh okay <clears throat> okay so we need to do x-ray x-ray is well the first one Okay. Uh TV input modes. Okay. Monitor set to X-ray. Okay, how do I how do I do this last thing? Alright. How do I Help. Help! Press the key, bracket the keys, and the top menu to move. Okay, well, yeah. Ah, tab key. Roll over to the test chamber. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the manual. Put a one. Now we got to do this stuff. Oh my god. All right. First, we got to turn on the monitor. Monitor. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. R3. Uh, it's at R3. IR. Okay, no. Um. Set to X-ray. Charge. DC86. X-ray device. Can't open it. Okay. Okay. X-ray device. You see an X-ray device? Is this X-ray? Oh, I can zoom in. See? Oh, there it is. That's it. I don't know what the hell this is, but we're not doing that. Okay. Uh, we gotta charge you. Charging. All right, we're doing it. All right. Um. Okay, it's charged. Now what? Okay. I think I screwed that up. Okay, it's charged. Alright, x-ray the artifact determines internal structure. Yes, figured that much out. Um, x-ray, required apparatus. Monitor set to x-ray. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid! 
There. Oh. Ooh. Okay, good work. The X-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. That good or bad? Okay. Ooh, we got one done. Okay. Okay, we'll be able to figure out, but we got it done. Enter. All right. Next um, experiment. We gotta do. Uh, Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using low-powered red laser to begin with. Okay, so we're doing the lasers. Where are our freaking lasers? Okay. So we gotta set the laser two light generator set wavelength. I right, got laser two. Ah, oh, laser two. All right. We don't need this anymore, do we? No. Stop. Stop. I don't want it. Okay. Uh, experiment. Red, low power red. Low power red. Alright, so 650 nanometers. Okay, 650. Okay, and then we gotta set this to higher. Oh, RGB. Is that a heart? All right. No reaction from first stage. Let's try high frequency. All right. Okay, we're gonna use green laser. All right, uh, green laser. How do we do that one? Green is five ten. Do why we jump? Why don't we go lower or higher? Or whatever. Uh, five ten. Okay. And okay. Nothing. Right. Nothing. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Oh, yes, I see that now. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okay. All right, we're going to use blue. All right, blue. Uh, blue is what? 455. This is kind of fun uh, and fascinating. 455. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I saw it move that time. Was it beating? Beating. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, music's starting up. Why? All right, we're going to do acoustics. Okay. The test of acoustic renaissance properties of the object. Begin with generating... 250 hertz line wave with the amplifier gain set to one. Okay, so we're doing sound 250 and one, 251. Okay, so, oh God. All right, uh, signal generator. You. Okay, we don't need you anymore. And we're doing 250. Seems weird, but interesting. As long as I'm not torturing the thing, I don't care. I need a 250. Where does a one go? Is this is this thing? I don't know what this is. That one. And our wave. Oh, we're doing sine, right? Yeah, sine. Uh, sine wave with set to one. Oh, okay. 
so we gotta make it to the S. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> uh, S. Oh, I do need this. Okay. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Okay. Um. All right, now we're doing 500 and sine wave of five. 505. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I was right. Okay. And we're doing... Sine wave. And five. Okay, so... Five, 500. Okay. Oh, wrong button. This needs to go up five. There, a little bit more. Oh, no, too far. There we go, perfect. All right, and this goes to 500. Oh, we can actually hear it. Oh, this is gonna be loud, isn't it? Or can we, I don't know what it's gonna be. All right, so five, five, sign. Ooh. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Yeah. Should we increase? Do the risk of damage? What about the uh, volunteer? Am I the volunteer? Okay, Wait. we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Okay. But I'd like to, I'd like to, you know, give my input if I am the volunteer. Okay, so test the acoustic resonance, um, square wave. So basically the same thing, but just a square wave. All right. Where is up here? Oh. Activity on this side. Yeah. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I know uh, this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. What? What? But you need to trust us. No, I don't. Okay. I don't think I trust him at all. As if I did, why aren't they in here helping? All right. So we're maintaining five and the square, but bring the frequency up to one kilohertz. Okay. Oh, this might be bad. This seems stupid. I better be getting paid a lot of money for this. Wait, what is what is the killer? Is that a thousand? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, it's sparky. It popped. Full activity registering. We did it. Did what? Can you hear it? Yes. You've made it excellent progress. You're doing great. Thank you. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. All right, you're implying I should be panicking? To alleviate. Discomfort. Mine or whatever just popped. As I gotta say, I have some discomfort. The protective casing is off. Proceed to the drill surface. There was a casing. Oh, is that it right there? Is it like a, a ball? Okay, let's can we turn this off? Okay, drill. I don't know if I like this. Here it goes. I'm gonna die. Hello? How do you feel? Nervous? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Now I'm Take scared. A few moments. 
And when you're ready, we'll continue. I'm not ready. Make contact! Good! Let's make contact! Okay. Why? Are you from Portal? Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Know what? I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. Remember what? Remember what I had for lunch? Oh, do I gotta touch it? Oh! Data connection ready. The pocket. Oh, I hold it. Okay, to my eye. I don't know if I like any of that. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact in the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship's hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. Use the computer. Work your way through. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Um. Uh, I can't. If it poisonous atmosphere. Okay, how do I get out of a place that's already filling with poisonous atmosphere? Um, get out. Okay, not right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you're in grave danger to get out of here. Um, open pod. Fix hole. around. Ah! The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent links. Okay, maybe I gotta put terminal. Or, well, let's do this. Okay. Look okay, at computer. Monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. Uh, use system. You tap the screen and the airlock door sputters to life. Slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Go. And airlock. Organ? These are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else it hides. Lean in, okay. Oh, fascinating. Is there a USB port? Well, oh, that looks like a digital port. Um, you squeeze through the damage 
Airlock, fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you're surrounded by mangled metal. This is incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Bright light. Please continue. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Uh, let's look around. The crash site. Smoke billows from the downshift. See your lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star pattern. Okay. This doesn't give me much help. Uh, walk forward? No. Look at stars? You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Okay. Uh. Oh. Wreckage right surrounds you. Some of the metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Okay. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Go lights. Okay. Um, let's just look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you. Step to illuminate the crash light in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out a silhouette and walks towards you. Look at figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Approach figure. Oh, your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. Thank you. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Why? You should be proud of yourself. Okay, but why do they not make it this far? A head pop or something? Okay. We wake. The room is silent, only for the quiet hum of the equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We're all as one. We move together in unison. Okay. Uh, look around. Seems to be working for us. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There's some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room. Oh, fascinating. When did this happen? Jason has a display monitor wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. Oh, who? Um, I have so many questions, so I don't know where to start. Uh, look at writing. Stacked together a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Read writing? Sim symbols seem to indicate where on our body they had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Look at body? No, okay. Uh, look at self. No, okay. Um, look at the monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers in rhythm. All right, um, look at the door. The door in the corner looked atmospherically sealed shut. Open the door. Can't reach the door. I click tethered to the machine. Oh, uh, remove the machine. Oh. Find out what's going on. Oh, are we controlling someone else in this facility? 
That is cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting into this. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, open door. Oh, hell no. We're getting into this now. You make me a lab rat, or I'm going to do some stuff, fun stuff here. I see. Bro. Oh, hello. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and the lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Okay. Uh. Look at device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. While you, I, we have access to these codes, it's time to use them. Ooh, use? The codes. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our system. It's sending something across the network. Oh, okay. So I probably have to match the symbols? Mr. H, please. No. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. I don't know what this is. This might take me a while. Look, do you, uh, you got a hint here for me? Oh, you do. Okay. All right, so I gotta try to, it's hard to see it. So the one that looks like a... Oh, my eyes. The one that looks like a... Kind of like a B. It stays that. Okay. Looks like the one that had the Y shape at the top. That one. Yeah. This one here. What do I do? They're all free. They're converging. It's over. Oh, the, all the eyeball thingies. I am friendly. Uh, um, don't kill me. One of us. Oh. Moving in for a kiss. Oh man, that was great. Oh, I love this one. This one was so much fun. Um, I don't know what does it say about me if I like to, you know, destroy everything or everyone. Anyway, that was great. I loved it. <laughs> um, if you want to check it out? Down in the description. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments. I Like I said, I love this one here. So, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next one, which will be the station process. Um, but anyway, thank you all for hanging out and watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.